Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In this episode, I'm going to show you how you can create your own single strand double Purcell Prusik. If you don't know what a Purcell Prusik is, this is the doubled version of it where it has a termination knot here and it's got this clips to your harness and then it branches out into these two loops and each loop is adjustable with a prusik here and so when you move it up for example you can load it and it will stay in place. A Purcell prusik should be um, the prusik should always be at least halfway the distance to the termination knot, so 50% of the way, so 50%, 50%, so it's halfway there. This way, should you fall on it, it will allow ample room for this knot to slide up and reduce the amount of force on your body or on any of the tools that you're using and any of the force that goes through the tools onto the rope. Because, especially with hand descenders, Desheathing is a real concern because it's a toothed device. So yeah, these are very useful. These are typically used, like I just said, with hand ascenders and also especially with ice picks or ice axes, um, as you want to call them, popular with alpinists and also with ice climbers. This ensures that when you connect to the loop, via carabiner to the tool. Uh, should you drop it, you will not lose it. Um, and also, as I just mentioned, it provides fall protection. This is a rated rope, and you should always use rated ropes. Uh, this is more of an accessory cord than a rope. This is six millimeter. It is got a MBS or minimum breaking strength of 12.5 kilonewtons. You know, especially with alpining, that's more than enough. Just make sure you're using rated stuff and uh, let's get to making the device. When deciding how much length you need for the cord, it's important to determine... Basically, I measure from my waist up to the highest point that I can reach plus the amount of rope it takes to tie a prusik. So basically, I had to do a number of calculations, and you're going to also in order to get this correctly, but I'm six feet tall, and I needed 550 centimeters. It came out to that perfect round number. Um, if you're about my height, then, you know, that might be perfect for you also. So you want to make sure that you're able to reach up and also ensure that you can tie that prusik or place that prusik while tied um, halfway the distance to your harness. Okay? Like I just showed you in the previous clip. So let's get to it. I have this length, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two ends here, and I'm going to hold on to them, and I'm going to pull down and determine the center. So now that I've found the center, I'm going to tie a termination knot. and. My knot of choice for this is a figure of eight on a bite. If you don't know how to tie this, I have a video on it, but I'll just show you real quickly. Um, so you go around your finger with a bite, which is just a loop. Go around your finger once. Okay, so now you have that loop. And then you go around one more time and pull through. You're going to want, you don't want a huge loop here, but you want something enough 
You want enough to where you can girth hitch it. And I'll show you what that means in a minute. So with this knot, it needs to be properly dressed and set. So you want to make sure that the strands are running parallel with each other and that nothing is overlapping. And when tightening this to set it, you want to grab this strand and then pull on this strand and then this strand and then pull on this strand and pull on this strand and then this strand. That way you've gotten every combination of pulling possible and the knot is now perfectly dressed and set. Now that you've done that, the way you're going to secure, or the, the most popular method for securing a Purcell Prusik to one's harness is through a girth hitch. And that is done by taking the loop, putting it over your finger like that, and then pulling the center through like this. And then you have a loop like that. Take a carabiner, put it through, and tighten it. And there you have it. So now that you've gotten your termination knot, you're going to want to create the first loop. And you're going to do that by creating a loop, crossing these strands over, or this strand over itself. And then you're going to wrap around, going downwards, once, and then twice. And if it's a really small cord, and if it's new cordage, I like to add a fourth wrap. This will ensure that it grabs. So I've got a fourth wrap here, and then I'm going to cross it over like this. And then I'm going to tie one two and then a third wrap at the top. So now I've created the Prusik and now at this point you take your rope here and you're going to tie a fisherman's knot, also known as a double overhand. And then it looks like I have a lot of slack here, so I'm going to take this, push the knot all the way in, and then I'm going to just feed out the slack starting from the top. And then working my way down and then pulling it out. So I get that nice and tight, but not too tight. Okay, and now you're left with the hitch right here. And it can be adjusted and it'll lock wherever you place it. And because of that fourth wrap down there, it's definitely going to grab even with new cord. Then you got to do the same thing again on the other side. So once again, Starting down, going towards the bottom, we're going to make one, two, 
three turns, which will result in four wraps. And then bring that across. And then on the opposite side, do one, two, three turns. So we have three wraps and then tie the knot. The, so I need a little more slack here, so I gotta feed this through. When tying this double overhand, you wanna have the same amount of excess as the other one. So I have about three inches on this side, three inches on this side. When you finish this, you're gonna to wanna to tape it right up here, just so this doesn't get caught on anything. And you don't wanna tape it down here or cover all of it because then you won't be able to see if it's pulling through and if the knot is failing. So now that I've done that, I'm going to push that in. And um, going to take out all of this slack here. So now I have another loop and this is the finished product. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.